finally I got me a full exhaust system. Guys, Roe King Sino here bring you another episode of the Dirty Left Shoe Chronicles. You dig? What this video is, is just going to be a sound test of the Jardine slip-ons. Um, I think it's Jardine or Jardine. I, I, I pronounce everything terrible. What this video is going to be is a, a sound test of the Jardine slip-on. Sound test from the back and sound test from the front. Now, the full exhaust that I'm going to be replacing it with is one of the ZX-14s favorite and notable full exhaust systems for those bikes and for the t-rex as well and it's the muzzy m10 these uh exhausts are very rare to find these days because muzzy aren't making them anymore i don't even think muzzy's around anymore so if you can find a good one um full exhaust for a good price make sure you go ahead and grab them i was able to find it located online and um it's in great condition this right here is the header for it um you know as you can see it basic four two and a one i will be tuning it i run a bazaz a lot of times people they run the power commanders so you got the uh the o2 bung here for it uh for me to go ahead and do that because i do have a uh, auto tune set up for that bazaz so that'll be another later video but this right here is the header it is very light. I'm sure it's pretty light in comparison to what the original headers are on the ZX-14s. So I should save a lot of weight. Now let me show you the actual pipe. This is the can for it. Um, looks like it's been ceramic coated. Real nice. Baffle inside, which I'll be leaving it inside. It should look really good on this bike. And it uh, should sound pretty good as well. And these are the two together. Uh, the can and of course the headers. Um... Hey man, I think I'm going to lose a whole lot of weight with this. I made a video previously way back talking about losing some weight just so we can kind of start working on performance and weight reduction and try and see how close we can get this thing to the uh, to these 2021s that's out. So let the process begin, guys. Also, what I'll try and do is try and get the exact weight of the Muzzy M10 exhaust uh, with the headers in the pipe and what I'll be taking off, which is the stock headers with the slip-ons and also the brackets because remember those brackets are actually what's holding um, those slip-ons in place so we won't need any of that these slip-ons will be for sale leave in the comment section below let me know if you're interested in them um, of course they'll come with everything that you see I'll send you I'll, I'll get, send you a picture whoever wants to buy them I'll send a picture or put a picture out there the infamous y'all like clowning me about the way that I get in my t-rex Don't get all up on me now, she dirty. That said idle. Just rubbing it a little bit. It's about five, six thousand RPM. That's about a seven thousand RPM. That's an idle. About four or five thousand RPM. About six, seven thousand RPM. quick guys I came here to the post office um, right before I was getting ready to put the the new headers on the t-rex I remembered that I wanted to give you all the weight and let you know um, how much weight savings I'm making what I got right here is I have the slip ones sorry if this is going in and out I'm not using my normal camera um, I left my SD card at home so pardon me right here I have the slip ones I have the headers, of course, so slip-ons with the pipes, and you'll be able to see um, the headers. 
uh, which are the stock headers, and then also you save weight with the brackets. So also remember guys, you're gonna save weight with the exhaust that I got because I'm taking these brackets off, which are steel, and um, they got a lot of weight to them. So let's go ahead and get it on here and let's see if we can weigh everything and get you all a good number. This is the slip on. And I know it's gonna be overweight with the headers, so we'll weigh the headers by itself. So far we got both slip ons, okay? And we're gonna add the brackets on top of it. So right here we have 20 pounds, three ounces. Okay, these are the headers by their self. Headers by their self, nine pounds, 8.6 ounces. Nine pounds, 8.6 ounces. And I believe what we had before was 20 pounds, three ounces. So we're looking at 29 pounds and 11.6 ounces. Total, 29 pounds and 11.6 ounces. Now, the full exhaust. Got the headers here. Try and get it all on here, one go. Weighing in at six pounds, 6.5 ounces. In the cane, okay? Ten pounds, thirteen point five ounces. Ten pounds, thirteen point five ounces. It's safe to say that we saved close to twenty pounds from changing to the stock exhaust system with the slip-ons to a full exhaust system with the one that I went with. So I'll be back with you all once I got it installed and give you the rest of that sound test. All right, guys, so I'm back finally. I know it was pretty instant with you all, but I'm back with the Rex, and I actually have the full exhaust system installed on here. Again, it's the Muzzy M10 full exhaust system, basically the little shorty pipe. Um, so far, man, I got to admit, I like it. I really like it. I like the way it sounds. Um, I'm in the process of tuning it, so I'm kind of riding around right now and um, messing with some fuel adjustments to try and get her dialed in. Um, but overall, I like it. And I'll tell you what, you all seen in the clip previous, saved close to 20 pounds, man, almost 19 pounds. Um, you can't beat it. Again, it's for obvious things too, like the bar that was right there, the bars that come out, and then you actually have the exhaust to hang off those, uh, those bars. Those are pretty heavy. I'm not sure uh, if I got an exact weight, for those particular bars itself but again it's part of the frame um of course you can unbolt them but their main purpose was pretty much just to hang those um hang those slip-ons so i was able to remove those to save some more weight as well as again the full um um stock header with uh with the slip-ons that i purchased i do have my stock cans that came uh with the t-rex i just i kind of got them over sitting in the corner um, I didn't bother to to weigh those, but pretty much uh, anybody could take a set of ZX14 um, cans uh, and weigh those if they want. Look how open that wheel is, man. I don't know, guys. Let me know what you think. How do you like it with uh, just that one exhaust coming out the side versus um, versus two exhausts? I like it feels more like a motorcycle to me I'm gonna keep on going on this weight loss journey with this t-rex and see where we can get I still didn't upgrade my battery yet I'm gonna be changing over to lithium soon I just need to make sure I find the right one that's able to do everything that I needed to do guys another thing is it's a lot easier to get my hand up in there to be able to clean my wheel and chain on both sides too as well a whole lot easier to get my hand up in there and uh, clean that wheel it won't be clean today though, I'll tell you that. I'm not gonna go high in the RPMs to rev it super loud for you guys um, because I, I just wanna go ahead and get it tuned and everything first. But I'll do a little something.
So overall, I'm pretty pleased with this exhaust system. I'm pleased with the choice that I went with and that weight savings that I got, man, I can't complain. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope this video enlightened you a little bit. If you haven't done so already, make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Most of all, share this video. I appreciate all my Rex family out there. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. I can finally clean my wheel and get my hand in here. Don't get too close because this thing is dirty, man. Hot. It's hot. You know what I mean? It's hot. It got to be easy. <laughs>